Hello folks, we're going to start work on a brand new section of the course, of the course, sorry, the website, and uh, I'm going to do a messaging system, that's the vibe, okay? So, uh, this is the vibe here, when people click on this, the administrator will be able to look at messages that have been submitted by the customer, the customer will be able to send messages and all of that stuff, it's going to be super cool, and kind of, um, if you are a, a web hosting company, this is the kind of thing that those guys are really into, you know? So it's an internal messaging system. That's the vibe. Thank you very much indeed. Now, in order for this to work, later on in the process, we're going to need something. I want you to open up store accounts and we're going to open, or sorry, we're going to create a new function on store accounts and I'm going to call it underscore get underscore customer underscore name and it takes in an update ID. This is going to come in very, very handy and the way that it works is we're going to say data equals this, fetch data from DB, okay? Now if the data is equivalent to that, that means that we don't have a customer, okay? So in that case I'm just going to say customer name equals unknown, okay? That's the vibe. It's basically if we get an invalid ID on store accounts, okay? Otherwise, well, I'm going to say first name equals data, first name, and then we're going to do the same for last name and company, like so. Okay, last name and then company. Um, and what I'm going to say is a little if statement in here. I'm going to say something like company length equals the string length of company, okay? And in fact, while we're here, let's trim these things, okay? Let's just trim these down, you know. Uh, we'll do that, get rid of some unnecessary white space, right? And the vibe is... If the company length is greater than two, then the customer name is going to equal the company. Otherwise, the customer name is going to equal first name joined on to last name, like so. So then all we have to do is just return customer name. Okay. Very simple little function, but as you're about to see, it's going to come in very handy indeed. So now I'm going to go over to the database and I'm going to make up a brand new table called inquiries, okay? And inquiries is going to have seven columns on it, okay? We're going to have ID, it's going to be a primary key, auto increment, okay? We're going to have date created, I suppose you could call it date sent if you want. It's going to be an integer. We're going to have sent by, it's also an integer. Then we're going to have sent underscore to, that's an integer. Then we're going to have subject. Let's make the subject a variable character of 255. Then we're going to have message. And the message is going to be a text field. And finally, we're going to have a field called open. That's an integer of one. Okay, so let's save that. And that's our inquiries table structure made. Now I'm going to go into the modules folder and I'm going to make a brand new module called inquiries. Okay, here we go. It's called inquiries. So I'm going to head back into the text editor here and we're going to set up the module. So we rename the thing to say inquiries. We do this top section here. We do this section here, like so. Inquiries, we save it. And then we just sort out the model. So the model becomes MDL inquiries, save that. And the top section is MDL underscore inquiries and the table name is inquiries. So that's us ready. We have now made the module. I'm now going to make a function up inside inquiries that's called inbox, okay? And 
what this is going to do is it's going to say query and then it will say fetch inquiries and it's going to say folder underscore type as a variable name. Right above that, I'm going to set the folder type equal to inbox. It can be all lowercase, doesn't matter, right? So that's the vibe. And now we're going to build a function called fetch inquiries, right? So here we go. That's going to go fetch inquiries and it's going to have a MySQL query that says select all from inquiries where sent underscore to equals zero order by date created descending. So the newest one goes to the top. Folks, this is going to be a custom query and we are going to return the query object and that's the vibe. Now, this inquiries page is going to be kind of similar to something like we see on store accounts manage, okay? So the vibe is I'm going to copy some stuff from store accounts and I'm going to paste in and there we go. So everything is looking kind of cool. Actually, I'll do the security at the top, okay? So we're making sure that it's admin, we have a folder, everything is cool and that is all good. Now I know that we're not doing anything with folder type at this stage but we will be doing something later on, right? Just stay cool. And the view file is going to be called view underscore inquiries. The reason why I'm not calling it inbox is because there may potentially be a junk folder or archives or sent folder or who knows what. So there's going to be a communal view file. I'm making it now called view underscore inquiries.php. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. So if we now go to the admin panel and then we go to uh, inquiries forward slash inbox you can see that something is not too cool here so let me just check what's happening uh, query off oh, I'm sorry how did that get there how did that get there here we go again okay so that's not too bad that's not too bad uh, the page itself is going to be quite similar to something like store accounts manage, you know, it's uh, basically a table, right? So I'm going to copy that, going to close that and paste in and we'll save and we're going to get some error messages. But that's okay. That's absolutely okay. We're used to that and everything's going to be fine. So it's looking for a query variable. Let's turn this query into data query. Hit refresh. Okay, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. And uh, let's just go through this uh, thing and we'll set it up. Now, I don't know what to do with that yet. I'll leave that for another video. I haven't decided. But we'll change this vibe so that it says, um, let me see, something like folder type. And then up here, right on the headline, I'm going to say your folder type. Now what on earth is the folder type? Well, I'll just say uh, something like data folder type equals folder type. And we save, we refresh, and it says your inbox, okay? Now actually, I should say folder type equals uppercase first folder type. Okay, here we go. So that's nice, very good indeed. The vibe now is I'm going to loop through this stuff, but I'm going to simplify. Let's simplify the vibes. We'll get rid of all of those variables that we don't need. Okay. And we'll paste in and we'll change these THs to TDs. Okay, so if we do that, and save. That's kind of cool. Now I'm going to go into the inquiries table here. Actually, sorry, I'm not. I'm going to go into site cookies and I'm going to borrow a Unix timestamp. I just want something that's valid, you know. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into inquiries and I'm going to make a couple of inquiries up. So this will be sent by five, sent to zero, 
Zero is going to be admin, by the way. And here is a subject line. I need help. And the message is going to be, I am a new customer and I need some help. That's the vibe. Opened is going to have a value of zero. So there's one inserted. Let's insert two, right? Uh, I'll paste in and I'll change this seven to a four. So it's going to be sent by five. Now five is just an ID from the store accounts table. Pick anyone. Any ID from store accounts is going to be fine. But it's going to be sent to zero and we're going to say another subject uh, line here. And I'll just say here is the second message. It was actually sent before the first one. And again, opened is going to equal zero. Okay, so if we now hit refresh, we have this vibe going on here. All we need to do now is get these things displaying properly and that will be the end of this video, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is where it says briefcase, I'm going to change that to envelope and save. And you can see that we have a nice little envelope here. And then I'm going to do some tweaks to this. In this first column, I'm going to do a little space. Then I'm going to actually remove one of the columns like that because we won't need it. Okay. And now I'll scroll up and this is where the action happens. So the vibe is opened equals row opened. And I'm going to say that if opened is equivalent to one, then icon equals, now what on earth is the icon going to equal? Well, we have a thing here called messages with a nice envelope. Can you see that? And if we view the page source, and if we go to messages, um, we should hopefully find a nice little icon somewhere. There we go. I class equals icon envelope. So that looks kind of cool. And the vibe is that is the icon that it's going to display if the thing is opened, okay? However, if the thing is not opened, it's unopened mail, I'm going to do icon envelope alt and I'm going to do style equals color orange. And then right in here, we're going to echo out that icon. So let's just see how that looks. Okay, so these are unopened. So they're going to get this little envelope thing. And if it's a, an opened message, it will be a clear thing like that. That is pretty cool. Yes, indeed. So let's just sort out the size of this cell. So we'll do class equals span one and everything comes together. That column's looking kind of neat. And uh, this is where the good stuff happens. So we're going to have date sent and then we'll have something like sent by and then we'll have subject and actions and that's the vibe okay so to do the date sent I'm gonna just say date underscore sent equals this time date get nice date and it's gonna do that with date created the format is going to be full okay so right in here I'm now doing short tags date underscore sent okay and I'm running off this page a, a little bit let me just space down for the purposes of this tutorial right so there we go date sent thank you very much we have date sent next I'm going to do sent by okay so the vibe for sent by is going to be something like this if row sent underscore by is equivalent to zero, then sent by equals admin, okay? Otherwise, well, check this vibe out. I'm going to open up the module store accounts. I'm going to load that up. There it is there. And do you remember right at the start of this video, we, whoopsie daisy, we made up 
a thing called get customer name. Do you remember this vibe here? So what I'm going to say is sent by is this store accounts get customer name and we're going to get that with row sent by. Okay, so now we just go in here and we chuck in sent by. It's as easy as that. Finally, the subject is very simple. In fact, I think I'm just going to say row subject. Why not? Let's end this Mickey Mouse coding. What do you reckon? And then actions, well, uh, I'll just do three X's. So if we now refresh, we can see that things are not looking too bad. Now, we have a problem with sent by. Let me just see what's going on there. Uh, row sent by is five, so that's good. Um, let me just see what's happening with that then. And that'll be the end of the video. So store accounts get customer name. Okay, so store account get customer name. Let me just make sure this is uh, working. Undefined variable subject. Oh, right, okay. So let me just see. So that was on view inquiries. I'm sorry, that's row subject. Accidentally deleted that. Okay, so sent by is kind of cool. It's just running into a few minor challenges here. Um, well, let's just see. Check to, sorry, customer name equals check to. Could it be that part? Okay, so it's coming in here. Ah, do you know what it is? I think it's the actual store accounts table. This is what happens, folks, when you enter junk. Do you know what I'm saying? Look, it's the database. There's nothing wrong with the code. It's the database. Everything is cool. So there is no bug. Everything is fine, actually and the, the PHP is solid. So here we go. Sent by John Rambo, subject, I need your help, actions, uh, and we can click in and view that. Okay, oh, actually, sorry, wrong envelope color, just before we finish. So the vibe is if it's open, they get that envelope. If not, that's the vibe. Okay, that'll do us for this video. We've done a lot of good stuff. I'll see you in the next video.